The female teachers cannot take it anymore. They claim the Teacher Service Commission is silent on their ever-rising cases of teachers being killed or maimed. The day Zimbabwe Mbaluka story is no different. A mathematics and Kiswahili teacher at Ndoni Primary School who was lynched over claims of aiding the school's poor exam results. The Kiwata family will be asking the Teacher Service Commission to declare a national day of mourning in solidarity with Teacher Desi. Police say preliminary investigations into the murder have established that the killing had nothing to do with the results as earlier claimed. <laughs> However, the association now wants the government to rein in on individuals pendling false claims about the teacher. The police can go ahead and investigate and unhearth other things that are surrounding the murder. But for us, we are protesting about the killing of a teacher in a school compound. Police were in the line of investigation. Now, he go out of here, he go in the car, sir. So, Bob, Mwali Mukuwa was better than what Toto Wake. At a camera, he was a mefanya nini, a man nini. There is law. I guess he go up and go up. I'm better with police then. Yeah, then the law to take its course. Sentiments echoed by Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha at Kakamega Primary School after overseeing the rollout of CBC in Grade 4 primary schools in Vihiga, Kakamega, Nandi, and Siaya counties. Hope that the law will be very firm with the people who killed that innocent. For other people who are still making noise, including in this locality, can you cease from the, the nonsense immediately? And if you want to discuss the poor results, start doing it with yourselves. Kiwata now wants the teaching profession to be safeguarded and teachers be protected, urging the DCI to arrest all the perpetrators of the heinous act. Kenya is among the countries with the highest female homicides and abuse against women. On average, eight women violently die each month. Grace Mtango, Evening Edition.